So my name is Fatima Wasim, and I am a journalist with the Baltimore Sun Media Group, just down the road. Um, and I wanted to kind of center it and bring it local, because we talk about Syria, we talk about Libya, we talk about Afghanistan, we talk about Afghanistan, right? All of these different countries, and our social media often seems to be centered around that. But what about what's happening in this city? What about what's happening in your neighborhood? What about what's happening locally around you? Are we plugged in into that news outlet at all? Because oftentimes, in my experience at covering these events, you know, going out into these council meetings, Muslims aren't there. When we're talking about, you know, combating Islamophobia on a local level, you know, right down the street, who's, who's representing us? Recently, there was a conversation in a local council um, about putting in sanctuary policies to limit cooperation with federal immigration authorities. The council person's purpose in putting that in was to help combat Islamophobia, to counter anti-Semitic rhetoric, to elevate the voices of, of immigrants in the community. And there were hours and hours of hearings. I sat through all of them. And I think maybe one Muslim testified this council person also set up rooms for Muslims to pray. Um, and he texted me actually the night before and he said, you know, when is Maghreb going to come in? What do you need? What can I do? There might be Muslims there. The, the reason I'm doing this is to elevate those voices. I was the only person praying in that room he set up. So my plea to you as, as people engaging with social media, with news, with all this barrage of information that's upon us, is to really connect locally. Because so much, so, so much that you don't know is happening, and, and we're not involved. We're not plugged in. We're kind of treating news like it's, I guess, like, almost like ramen noodles, right? Easy to access, it's cheap, and you're not going to get much out of it. Though so that's how we're approaching it. We need to really go beyond that, because if we want to have our voices be heard, if we want to make an impact, we have to be plugged in. And there are no, no excuses, especially at this time. Because this is a time of deceit, it is a time of lies, and it's not certainly not unique. It's a part of history. but. In this time, truth is really a revolutionary act. Mm -hmm. And if we're not plugged in, we are not a part of it, and somebody else is going to speak for us. That's right.